There is a nice feature on White Fox Imaging in case you're working with um, referring doctors. Uh, if, if, if a doctor sends you patients uh, for a cone bean scan, uh, you have different ways that you can communicate to your uh, referring doctor. Um, one of the easiest is to make a, a report, and it's also a commonly accepted one, especially if you have a, a good printer. Um, so how do we do a report? So, very easy. Uh, you do your diagnostic. You just look up, for example, here we see that there is uh, something quite abnormal. So let's have a little bit of uh, a look. Uh, as you can see here, right, uh, there's clearly something that should be done about that. Let's look for the clearer view. And let's say, right, let's say that this view is rather interesting. Again, I can change contrast and so on and so on. So I simply add this image to the report library. Now let's imagine that you, we want to have a different cuts. I can as well add this one to the report library. If now I want to have a um, set of images, I can simply select Add Stack to uh, Report Library, and as you can see here, we have a lot of um, lines that are appearing. Why? Because my range is very big, and as you can see, if I reduce it, I'm able simply to diminish this number of cuts. Uh, as you can see, there is a thickness here that is uh, two millimeters. That means that there is a line between um, the space between these two lines is uh, two millimeters. So I simply cr uh, click on create, and that means that this automatically you will have all the blue cuts that will be sent to the repo library, and that that enables me then uh, after to um, to be sure that uh, uh, I, I've got all the images I need. I will close now. I could go directly to the library, but, but I wanted to show you uh, how you could uh, reach it. Uh, you could reach it like this. So simply uh, on the last one, because it's supposed to be the last one that you do uh, before closing a case. And uh, then the space is divided in two. Uh, you've got uh, here your images that you've been storing during your uh, diagnostic and uh, you've got all the cross-section that we have been looking at uh, and created on the last um, uh, on the last uh, action. As you can see you always get the full uh, cross-section and in order to move it you simply need to come and, and navigate through it. We'll see how to do that uh, later. Uh, now there is different types of uh, diagnostic that you should do. Uh, sometimes you are interested in cross sections. Sometimes you are interested in being able to take measures. So we have here a quantity of uh, different uh, report that you can select uh, for you to choose. In general, what we do is when we install you the White Fox, we take some time to um, to work with you in, in seeing exactly what are the ones that you are going to be using and what are the ones that you're not. So um, once you're selected, and in fact this one is, is a quite good one, um, you can simply extract your images by simply drag and drop. Uh, let's do that quickly here. And as you can see, they are not centered. Uh, here you always get the, 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 the square, uh, but that can be corrected easily. Uh, for example, this one here, and this one here. Okay, so I get here a nice uh, a nice image that I uh, that I need. Uh, if I right click, I can zoom out, uh, zoom in, uh, and if you select one one and you have your printer well configured, normally you should get uh, an image that is on scale one one, which means that you can take a ruler and measure directly on the image exactly what you need. Now, with groups, uh, for example, the sagittal section, uh, things are a little bit easy and you can go uh, a little bit faster. As you can see, we have here seven images. 
uh, which and here nine uh, cross section possibilities. So let's uh, take them all of them. Uh, what I do is exactly like you would select a, a different files on Windows. That means that you select the first uh, cap, select the last one, exactly like uh, like in Windows. And once you've done that, then boom, you have it all at the same time. And uh, then you come here, you changed <coughs> sorry you change the the way you setting your image and that's uh, that's it you get uh, you get you exactly the image that you want so that's how you make a, a report in no time in case you have some comments you place them here uh, this is a model that doesn't have any common possibilities, but in case, let's say, let's find one. Uh, yes, yeah, you can see here comments. Uh, as you can see, the comments are appearing <coughs> in this error. Next, uh, next thing to do is uh, if you have a, a PDF export option for printing, you can uh, export it as JPEG or bitmap. Uh, but also PDF if you print uh, if you print if you have a PDF printer uh, and that's it. It means that PDF would keep out uh, all the dimensions and uh, and uh, and you are able to directly use the data on uh, on the paper. Thank you and uh, see you next chapter.